Hi, this is Risa. Welcome back to my kit review series. I bought a needle felting kit from the shop Felted Sky on Etsy. I just couldn't resist the adorable image provided by the shop. I'm eager to review this kit as I'm a complete beginner to needle felting and was curious to see if I could indeed produce these beautiful Easter eggs to add to my collection of Easter decorations at home, especially since Easter is coming up. And uh, let's see if um, it's the right kit for you as a beginner. All my reviews come with a stitch or craft along video. Here's a sneak peek of the COVID theme eggs I was able to produce with this kit. So let's see what the kit has. Nicely packaged. It comes in a very, very neat box. It has um, instructions and a video tutorial that, uh, that coincides with timestamp for each step of uh, making these, these beautiful eggs. So that includes sort of timestamps here explained, which is really helpful that I'm going to definitely be looking at the video available to make these eggs. Then it has a beginner's guide to needle felting where it introduces what needle felting is. So there are different kinds of needle felting, sculpting, painting and colouring. And of course the guide also runs us through the different kinds of needles, uh, essentially called triangle needles, uh, and a list of the materials typically that one would use while needle felting. Needle felting requires core wool, batting, and roving. I wouldn't be going through the details of the different kind of wool required. For that, you can watch the video that comes along with the kit. In addition, it gives a brief introduction of the kind of felt that will be required, craft felt, pre-felt, for example, and most importantly, the foam mats or the mats required while needle felting, such as foam mat, burlap, and wool mat. I myself bought a felter's foam mat from the same shop. Uh, it's the most economical and uh, I'll be using it while I craft along. And then of course it discusses the different kinds of triangle needles or tools required. Um, the kit comes with a set of triangle needles which is cutely packaged and can be used for storage in the future. Um, and the needles that come are essentially a set of four uh, and they have color coded. The Black 136 triangle is included in the kit here. And uh, it also comes with um, a yellow triangle needle called 40 triangle, which is used uh, mainly for finishing. Um, and that'll be what I will be using for my crafting. So here we have the felter's core wool and I love the way it's very neatly organized with a nice band and labeling. It has a felter's fleece which is white and uh, I assume this is for this would be for the core of the egg and this would be to cover it and make it white sort of. And then we have the roving wool here uh, and I guess this will be mainly for um, for the decorations. Look at all these colors, they're absolutely gorgeous. I mean, some of them just even love the name, like this is Caribbean, and this one is pink lemonade, this is sky, kiwi, so beautiful colors to work with to decorate the Easter eggs. I'm gonna put all this back. Do join me uh, for the stitch along where I will be trying out this kit for the first time. I focus mainly on a lot of embroidery, so this crafting project will be fun to do. Here's a sneak peek of my craft along video where I've crafted COVID themed Easter eggs for this year, the link of which is provided above. My 10 year old son saw me felting and he wanted to give it a go. He definitely still needs to work on the shape of the egg. In fact, we both do, but I'm sure with some practice, we'll get the hang of it. So is this a beginner's kit for felting? I would say yes. Here are the Easter eggs that um, I was able to produce with this kit. Certainly not perfect shaped eggs, uh, but we're getting there. I hope you found this kit review useful. Don't forget to watch the craft along video if you want to see how I've made some of these COVID themed Easter eggs and hopefully you'll be able to make better shaped ones than I did. 
Don't forget to like and subscribe. My next video will be a book review of the book Mindful Embroidery. Thank you for watching and see you again next time. Bye bye.